Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, we have a fair bit of things to talk about. Okay, some breaking news. Okay, this just came out a couple of hours ago. Okay, US Congressman files to file SEC Chair Gary Gensler. This is some amazing news. Okay, for all of us that are in fact in the crypto space, because we know how much Gary Gensler for the past few days not even for the past few days for the past like few months okay um you know causing a lot of negative news surrounding you know the crypto space okay saying that you know a fair few old coins right he has named recently we all know that gary gensler has named um you know over 10 crypto tokens right different old coins a security okay and not even just that, right? In the past, he has said that XRP is in fact a security. And that's why, you know, Ripple, XRP, they are in fact in a case with the SEC, right? They have a lawsuit with the SEC, okay? Um, because uh, of the SEC, right? Calling them a, you know, Ripple, XRP is in fact a security, right? So Gary Gensler, yes, has in fact been spreading a lot of FUD recently, okay? He has sued you know, two crypto, uh, major crypto exchanges, right? Uh, Coinbase and Binance. Okay, we know that just a couple of days ago. So yes, Gary Gensler has in fact been spreading a lot of FUD in the crypto space. And pretty much guys, if you guys are in fact in cryptocurrency, we all hate Gary Gensler. Let's just admit it, right? So this is in fact some, you know, great news for all of us, right? I'm pretty sure everyone right now is happy as hell that this is potentially might be happening right, that the, you know, US Congress is in fact filing to file SEC Chair uh, Gary Gensler, right, so they're filing, right, they could potentially, right, looks like Gary Gensler could be getting fired, looks like no longer, right, um, who knows how long, but in the future, Gary Gensler will no longer be um, the SEC uh, Chair's man, right, so that is absolutely amazing, because I think it doesn't suit him, and he's just spreading so much fud and just negative news okay and he's suing all these crypto exchanges and whatnot and i'm pretty sure we just all don't you know like that like what he is doing right now we just all don't agree you know what i mean so i'm glad that the u.s congress is in fact filing to file sec chair gary gensler okay so warren davidson tweeted this out that he is in fact okay filing the sec uh stabilization act to re restructure the sec gov and fire gary gensler so yes he is in fact um uh, making a new structure um for this and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't know how all these structures work for the sec but yes warren davidson is in fact okay um you know wanting and performing okay to pretty much restructure um a new structure right for the sec okay so the old structure right it looks like it's just gary gensler the sec chairsman okay it's just him um but the new structure is going to be six right instead of just one so like i said i don't know much about this and by the way guys yes this was in fact created by uh warren davidson himself okay this wasn't you know created by some random person on twitter this was actually this was actually created by you know david oh uh, sorry warren davidson um himself right so this this wasn't you know created by some random person on twitter but yeah that's that that's a new structure okay so a lot of things are in fact happening and, and it's looking good right now right for the crypto space right this is exactly what we wanted and i know people from the past have been saying and wanting you know Gary Gensler to be fired, right, from the SEC uh, chairs, man, right, so it looks like it's actually happening, right, so this is some amazing news, right, for the crypto space right now, okay, and Bitcoin right now is still holding up very well, the entire cryptocurrency market is actually holding up very well, we are in fact seeing some slight pumps now since this news came out, okay, which is weird, well, it's not really weird, but you guys get the gesture, right, um, so the global crypto market cap is 1. 1.06 trillion. So it's gone up slightly. Early this morning was at 1.05 trillion. And overall, the market's up over 1%. So yes, we are in fact seeing some slight pumps in the markets. Like I have fair few old coins are in fact pumping over 1% and over 2%, right? Even 3%. So that is 
you know, obviously great to see for the cryptocurrency market. Now, I want to show you guys this clip of Gary Gensler. Right now, Gary Gensler, we all know, um, has been to a lot of uh, conferences, right? A lot. And he went to one back in 2018, right? Uh, chair Gary Gensler in 2018 at a uh, Bloomberg, Bloomberg uh, conference in New York City. Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Why did I name those four? They're not security. So just watch this clip, guys. Hope this is loud enough. Over 70% of the crypto market is Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Why did I name those four? They're not securities. Over All right. I hope I hope you guys can hear that. The market is Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Why did I name those four? They're not securities. All right. So back in yes, you guys heard it here, right? Back in 2018, right? Gary Gensler has said Bitcoin, Ether, right? Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash are not securities. Okay. And remember, guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, you know, Gary Gensler has said in the past, right, uh, Algorand, okay, this old coin right here, Algorand, he said in the past that Algorand is not a security, right? That's, that's what Gary Gensler said himself, right? I don't know when, okay, it was like a couple years back, but he said himself, Algorand was not, is not a security. And now, right, just a couple of days ago, he files that Algorand is in fact a security. It doesn't make sense, guys. Like Gary Gensler is clearly just spreading so much FUD, okay? And so much negative news, guys, right? He really is. It just, it, it does not make sense, right? So I'm glad that Gary Gensler, okay, could potentially be getting fired uh, from the SEC uh, chairs, man, right? So I'm glad that they are in fact doing this, right? The US Congress, um, the filing this, um, to fire, you know, Gary Gensler. Um, so that's um, great to see, right? I love to see it. Now, when in doubt, guys, Bitcoin, right? When in doubt, you just got to really, really zoom out. I feel like I always got to remind you guys of this because a lot of you guys, you know, are in fact spooked out right now from all the FUD and negative news around the crypto space and it's causing the market to crash, but it really isn't, right? If you really think about it, I've told you guys many times that Bitcoin is holding up very well, right? Um, if we go to the daily time frame, you guys can clearly see it's holding up very well, right? It's still holding strong at $26,000. When all this FUD was in fact happening, Bitcoin went as low as $25,500. That's it, right? And then it went back up to 27 k and now it's back down to 26 k Like that is literally it. So if you really think about it, Bitcoin hasn't even crashed. With all this FUD that's happening for the past few days and negative news, Bitcoin is still holding up very strongly, right? And I'm pretty sure we can all agree to that. So when you zoom out, guys, okay, Bitcoin always recovers and it recovers because of the halving every single time, every four years, right? It's a whole cycle. Every four years, we have the halving event. And every single time we have the halving, Bitcoin tends to pump the most. That's where we see Bitcoin really pump. Okay. And of course, the entire cryptocurrency market, because that's where we really enter the next, you know, bull market. Right, so when in doubt, guys, you gotta you just gotta really zoom out and understand that we are okay and the halving is about to happen literally less than one year from now. So we should be really excited for that. No one right now should be bearish, but I know a lot of people are in fact still bearish and spooked out by all this FUD and negative news and whatnot. But hey, look at the bright side, right? Since this came out, since the US Congress is in fact filing to file SEC chair uh Gary Gensler, right? This is some great news for the crypto space, right? This is going to be some great news, right? This is amazing news. So just think about that. Now, we know about one year ago, Celsius gone, has gone bankrupt, right? Celsius was in fact a crypto exchange, okay? And a lot of people, right, you know, used Celsius to, you know, buy, sell, swap and trade crypto, right? And this one specific person, I remember, uh, her name is Tiffany, okay? And Celsius one year ago, okay, did in fact go bankrupt and, you know, they pretty much paused our uh, withdrawals. So anyone out there that used Celsius and have, you know, crypto assets um, in that exchange, it would be frozen, right? So you guys can clearly see this is her portfolio, 
right? When Celsius went bankrupt, she, she, she couldn't take any of this out, right? $120,000 just taken away just like that. It's frozen. She can't do anything, right? Like, it's all frozen. You know, paused with jaws, okay? Because Celsius has gone bankrupt and whatnot. So they pretty much froze everyone's assets. So she had over three Bitcoin, 3.1 Bitcoin, 11.6 Ethereum, and 377 Pol Polygon, right? A total of pretty much portfolio of $120,000. And this is why I always tell you guys, this is just a great example, right? This is why I always tell you guys to keep all your, you know, crypto assets off of our uh, crypto exchanges, right? Not your key, not your wallet, right? So guys, listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you this right now. With all this FUD, with the SEC suing Binance, okay, and Coinbase, if you are keeping your crypto assets in these crypto exchanges, get them out, right, immediately. I don't, I don't care if it's in Binance. I don't care if it's in Coinbase. You always got to be safe, guys. Like a lot of people thought FTX. A lot of people thought, you know, FTX was safe, but clearly it wasn't, right? That was like the biggest, um scam in crypto history in my opinion you know what i mean with what happened with ftx right and when that happened obviously the market has dropped significantly we know that right so guys don't keep your crypto exchanges uh don't keep sorry don't keep your crypto assets in exchanges take them out and put it in somewhere like somewhere safer you know like a hard wallet right i've been telling us that many many times so that's that guys okay uh before I end this video, Bitcoin monthly returns. So far this month, Bitcoin is down over 4%, 4.4%. And we are still early, you know, in this month. Okay. Um, coming up to halfway mark um, in this month, right? The 15th of June. And we could potentially see Bitcoin end off this month in the greens. Maybe, or maybe, you know, in the reds. Okay. We will see. But usually, okay, June is not. A great month for bitcoin but we will see so that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below how do you guys feel about this okay that the u.s congress is filing to fire sec chairsman gary gensler i know you guys are happy like myself okay we all wanted this to happen okay and i'm just glad that someone finally pulled the trigger and did something about this right someone put the foot down and did something about this so that's obviously great to see so let me know in, in the comments down below how do you guys feel about this um i'd love to know but on that guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you guys all enjoyed it more videos today will in fact be coming your way you guys already know it so stay tuned for that and i'll catch you guys all in my next video have a good one guys